Welcome to the Lakeside Show. What's the weirdest thing you've ever done? I was taking a bath and I ate shredded cheese while I was taking it. What's the weirdest thing you've ever done? Um, the weirdest thing I've ever done was um, so like when because like so um why like you know how um so like yeah okay and what about you? Um, I played poker with four circus clowns. It was really bad poker. What's the dumbest thing you've ever done? Jumped off the bridge over the canal. Probably trespassing. I put a um, yoga ball on a treadmill and then it like went in the air and it broke my wall. Uh, blow up an air mattress, put it on stairs and ride all the way down and hit my head against the cupboard. One time at Georgia Florida game, I tried to pick a fight with the uh, entire Florida offensive line. Yeah. Sims, I took a traffic cone and I got caught on the camera taking the traffic cone. When I, when I got caught using my mom credit, credit card. Uh, one time I blew up a gas can in my backyard. What's the weirdest thing you've ever done? I lit sour cream off somebody's foot before. When I was little, I used to eat chapstick. One time in college, I had to go with some recruits to Waffle House and we finished the food on the plate that was on our table. So it's not the dumbest, but you know when you got like, you go to McDonald's and you got a drink and you got french fries right here and you drink your drink and then like five minutes later, you try to drink your french fries. It's not that stupid. What's the weirdest thing you've ever done? I peed in a closet. Hi, I'm Trevor. And I'm Trevor. And this is Let's Taste Testing, Testing with, with Trevor's, Trevor's part, part two. two. Uh, today we're trying munchkins. And this is the chocolate glazed one. You gotta love donuts. A lot better than crumble cookie. Yeah. It's kinda dry though. It's a little bit dry. Mmm, I could do some milk right now. Alright, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Alright, next we're trying is glazed. Mm. It's good. It's better than Mine was dry though. Way more dry than chocolate. I think it's just mm. a hit and miss which one you grab. I do too. Mine didn't have much glaze. It was kind of just like bread. I'll give it a 4 out of 10. I'll give it another 5 out of 10. She's a 10, but she's obsessed with her ex. A 5. A 1. She wouldn't even want me at that point. She belonged to the streets. A, a zero. 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 A zero. A three. A zero. Three zero. Only. She had two. Turn around, run away. She's a three. He's a ten, but he shorter than you. A four. If he's like a lot shorter, then he's a four. A six. I say a five. An eight. Well, I'm only five foot, so a two. Three. Four. Like a four. An eight. An eight. A eight. Now we're trying blueberry. This one's definitely the best of the bunch. At least I got a good one. Soft, it has some nice glaze on it. Not dry. I like can still use a glass of milk though. <laughs> I like the flavor. Give it a 7 out of 10. Yeah, same. 7 out of 10. Alright, now we're trying brown sugar. It's busting, but a little drier. Good flavor though. It might actually be cinnamon, not brown powder. It's good though. It's a little odd. I think it's my favorite one so far. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. I'm being rough on these. I don't like it. <laughs> I'm Emily and I have this voter registration booth right here. I think a lot of people don't know that you only have to be 17 and a half to register to vote. It's really important just to get involved in civic engagement, really use your voice to vote. Um, I do have information about like the upcoming election, the QR code to register, and the forms. And other options if you're just not 18 yet, not able to vote, is to be informed, voice your opinions, and make sure you're volunteering. So you can do a lot in the community with politics without voting.
so we got white powder. It's pretty good. It's still pretty good. I like it a little bit more than brown powder. I'll give it a eight and a half out of ten. Six out of ten. In your final moments, what were your last meal be? Well, my last meal would probably be like a big steak, maybe a burger as well. In your final moments, what would your last meal be? Shrimp. Why shrimp? Because my favorite food, blackened and fried. What's the best movie of all time? Anastasia. <gasps> That's such a good movie. I know, it's such a good movie. <laughs> What's the best movie of all time? 10 things I hate about you. What's the best movie of all time? Star Wars No. Why? Because it's the first and it's the greatest. I got a challenge for you two. Who can eat 10 munchkins the fastest? Ready? Go. After school tutorial program, Mondays is lit and soul studies while Wednesdays is science and math. Start date is October 17th. From 3 to 4.15, snacks and transportation will be provided. Scan the QR code to register. Spanish tutoring in room 121 from 2.45 to 3.20. Try for the swim and dive. See Ms. Birch in room 3.17. AP exam registration. Deadline is October 28th. ASVAB, November 4th, 7.30 in room 129. GSA, 7.05, all welcomed in room 212. Seniors, get your caps and gowns. <laughs> Science National Honor Society, free tutoring after school in room 303 and 305 on Monday and Thursdays. Homecoming, October 24th to the 29th. October 24th and 25th are Slumber Party and Minion Day. October 26th and 27th are White Lie and Western. October 28th will be Pink Out and the Homecoming Game. Homecoming Dance, October 29th from 7 to 10 at the Grove Town Exhibition Center. For more information, check out Lakeside's Instagram. <laughs> Wait, Anna, why are you crying? I missed the Lakeside show the other day. Wait, haven't you heard? Heard what? We have a YouTube channel now. We have a YouTube channel? Yeah, the are Lakeside Show channel. The Lakeside Show now has a YouTube channel. Scan the QR code for new videos and our old ones.